MSU researchers believe old beat up tires can help patch up our pothole filled roads. As Ann Perret tells us, they're getting closer to implementing a process that can turn rubber scraps into asphalt. This is a regular asphalt and this is a rubber modified asphalt. They look the same, but the one on the right is made with recycled tires that have been cut up into pellets of what's called devulcanized rubber. We first mix this with asphalt binder uh, at certain temperature, at high temperature. We mix uh, with the aggregates, little stones. We have we do an, uh, what we call mixed design, asphalt mixture design. It's just one of six mixtures Dr. Emin Kute's research team at MSU has created with the Ingham County Road Commission to test out on our roads. The project started in 2011 with Waverly Road between Miller and Jolly, which happens to be the only one not working out. The Waverly Road one is not performing as well as we would like it to have. We're probably going to be putting, we are going to be putting a, uh, a, a chip seal uh, on that uh, either this year or next. And uh, to, to protect that, that was a fairly coarse graded mixture. But where the rubber meets the roads on sections of Hazlitt, Cornell, Bennett, and Lake Lansing roads, the summer and winter conditions haven't stood a chance. When you put a rubber, uh, like an elastic or a flexible material inside there, as the cracks progress, when they hit the rubber, they stop. Good news for Michigan drivers year round. Longer lasting roads and reduced waste in our landfills and vacant lots. And in the long run, less funding needed for our roads. If you need less maintenance over, let's say, 20 year design life, then, uh, then obviously this is going to be a lot more economical in the, in the life cycle. Inningham County and Perrette, Fox 47 News. Two other counties and six communities across the state, along with Michigan Technological University, are all working on similar projects. The Department of Environmental Quality just awarded the researchers a grant worth more than $2.9 million to continue their work. With that, the Ingham County Road Commission plans to look at the section of Jolly between Meridian and Dobie Road in 2017.